What's good guys, 35 Studio here, I'm Daryl and today we're back in the beach we're in Batangas, Anilao if you could check that out I'm bringing again my underwater camera this is Nikonos 5 which I last used in Shergao when I was surfing and hopefully this time we're going to take underwater photos of the corals but sadly though, uh, as you can see the weather is pretty bad, uh, it's really cloudy and if I want to take under photo, underwater photos I need, need the sunlight so hopefully later this day um, sun comes out and I, we could see the corals and some fishes. So stay tuned and check it out. So hope you like that new video guys. Um, it was fun, my second time shooting with the Nikonos 5. Uh, unfortunately, towards the end of the day, I accidentally dropped my camera. Uh, as you can see, there's a small dent here on the lens. It's nothing much, but yeah, cosmetically it's not nice. Hopefully, I could find a replacement lens for this one. It didn't affect the functionality of the lens, I could still see the uh, aperture opening and the focusing adjusting so yeah um, that was a tough lesson for me always don't forget to zip up your bag every time you go actually I dropped this accidentally because I placed it in my backpack and I forgot to zip up the, the zipper so when I tried to place my bag in the car the camera fell and thankfully only damaged the here the filter ring or the filter thread and nothing much camera still in good condition good thing I placed um, a big cloth around the camera so it absorbed most of the impact but yeah as for the experience uh, this camera is really tricky to use um, 
I, I, as I mentioned before in the sh short surfing video, this uses a zone focusing system. So you always need to have an estimate for the distance when it comes to focusing. So as you saw in the pictures when of the fish, most of them are not in focus because some are quite close and I really couldn't choose a, a closer aperture because it was really cloudy then and if I, for example, if I chose f8 or f11 aperture opening, um, the shutter speed would re really be super slow and it would still produce blurred shots. So that was the most I can do given that, um, given the lighting situation there. But what I loved most about this video was the film I chose. Um, it was the Ultra Max 400. I was really surprised with the colors of it. I think this is going to be my new favorite ISO 400 film. I really couldn't give a thorough review yet because it, that was my first role. And also considering that it was also Gab's um, first role shooting with it. If you want to watch that video, it's going to be linked up here or maybe here. I'm really looking forward to more underwater shots. I think it was the first time I really enjoyed taking photos with an underwater camera aside from the GoPro video which we made a few months back which, are, which is also going to be linked here. And yeah, so what do you guys think? Are you look, do you want more underwater photographs? Maybe we could try scuba diving soon. Who knows? Um, but yeah, hopefully more trips down the road so I could test this out. And hopefully I can get to buy a new lens. So that's all for now. Oh wait, and don't forget to like this video if you really loved it. Don't forget to comment down below anything. Uh, any camera you want us to try out, any challenge you want us to do. And don't forget to subscribe for more film photography videos. And here are the winners now for the feature picture. If you want your photo to be featured in next week's video, all you have to do is go to our Instagram, follow us, and tag us in your photos. Looking forward to seeing those photos.